Hey there, everybody. This is a very short video. My name is Necroxus, and I'm going to show you the small, new, revamped introduction to the Veil of the Eternal Blossoms. For those of you who might not know what I'm talking about, in pre-5.4, there was a small quest chain with the Celestials, as well as Stonewalker Desco, Terran Zoo, and Anduin Rin to get into the Veil of the Eternal Blossoms, right here. The entrance is right this area. Um, and there was this whole scene where they all show up, but because the veil gets destroyed in 5.4, they had to alter it a little bit. And it had, they have to address the fact that it is canon that the veil itself was, in fact, destroyed. So when you're questing through Kunlai, I, I believe you... I don't know if you can get it other places, but it's... If you're doing Kunlai questing, you're going to get it from somebody. There's like ten different mobs tagged to give this quest to you. For Horde or the Alliance, it doesn't matter. You're just going to be reporting to, to a different guy. Um, it's called Temple of the White Tiger, and this is the updated one. Have you heard the news, Traveler? There's been an attack at one of our most sacred places, the Veil of the Eternal Blossoms. Even now, there's a human prince with, within the, temp the White Tiger Temple arguing that you and the other races should be from beyond the mist should be allowed within. The temple is in Northeast Kunlai. Maybe you can convince the White Tiger to allow you inside. I only hope the Veil has not been utterly destroyed. That itself right there has been changed. Um, let's see... What else has been changed? I haven't seen this yet. Of the veil lies in ruin. These outsiders have been more destructive than the Mantid and the Mogu combined. That's new. Give us a chance to put things right. Great Tiger, the strangers from beyond the mists. They cannot be trusted. The wreckage in the Jade Forest can attest to this. I don't think Anduin's is new. I think. If I'm called correctly, Terrence originally says uh, something to the effect of, you know, look at Jade Forest, they caused the Unleash the Shah. And Anduin's like, give us a chance to put things right. But that's changed. Let's the see. Brothers here. If I turn this in, what it says, Hello, Mage, we've been granted an audience with the White Tiger. The Veil of the Eternal Blossoms was recently savaged by our War Chief. And we are arguing that both the Alliance and the Horde should be permitted back inside to repair the damage. Veil is a sacred place. I believe my wife Lisa saw it in a vision. It's what brought my people to Pandaria. We must save it. Do you think we'll be allowed inside? Before I continue, that's very interesting because it seems to imply that the veil got closed off again. And that's canon. So we were allowed inside and then it got closed off after 5.4 and we are trying to get back in there. That does kind of fly in the face a little bit with the scene with Terran Zoo and Sunwalker does go at the Horde Shrine, but I believe they've sufficiently logiced it so that it makes kind of somewhat sense. Let's see if anything else is different. This land um, the human calf is arguing on our behalf. He is well spoken. I can see why Bane Bloodhoof regards the prince so highly. Still, the argument does not go well. I'm of little consequence, but you are a hero of the Horde. Perhaps you can intercede in our favor. Speak with the White Tiger and plead our case. Same thing he says before. Zuin. Ah, another stranger from beyond the mists. Soon they will overwhelm this continent. Where do we draw the line? We're here to lend our aid. We can help you rebuild the veil. Oh, those are both new. We have witnessed your hell in the Jade Forest. This horde, this alliance of yours. You have no control over your own nature. You leave misery in your wake. Ten thousand years ago, the last Pandaren Emperor came seeking my advice. He too was filled with conflict. Let us see if you are correct, Terran. Let us see how this stranger deals with turmoil of the soul. Hmm. See? They are filled with it. Yes, we are fighters, but we come from a violent land. We fought off demons, we fought off death, we even fought against the very end of the world. Is this is all the same. They are strong. There is much they can teach us. We can agree 
It is noble to fight for a righteous cause, to defend home or family. But what of vengeance? What of anger? I sense these emotions run deep in this one. Anger is a part of all of us, yes. But we value control. The orcs were once driven solely by anger. They lived in a state of bloodlust. They conquered it. All you seek to conquer is each other. To live without anger is not to live at all. It is ours to overcome. In defeating our anger, we draw great strength. I would have used the Worgen instead of the orcs. Especially with Garrosh wrecking shit. The strangers from beyond the mists have no shortage of passions. But let us see if they indeed control them. Beyond the anger lies hatred. The wellspring of all misery. What is this? Your hatred has a face. That looks like... See? My see how these outsiders hate one another? They wear their hatred to battle and carry it to their graves. No. No, that's not true. There is so much more to us than this. How interesting. They bring much to our land, but they also bring the shadow of war. Peace will come. I swear it. And old hatreds will go away. This one you has indeed proven mastery over anger. Between the young cub's words and the actions of this hero, I think I understand. Those from beyond the mists are hardened by battle. They are scarred, yes, but they have learned much. I trust them. You are making a terrible mistake. It is decided. The veil of eternal blossoms shall remain open. The transgressions of the outsiders have been great, but I see in them the capability to right what has been wrong. Thank you, Master White Tiger. You will see. I believe that my people and the Horde are essentially good. I Go see. Consult the others. Meet me at the gate. So I was wrong a little bit. Um. <laughs> I find your faith inspiring, little one. But I wonder if you have ever met our war chief. So, the events of pre-5.4 did occur. 5.4 then happened. Um, and then they're arguing to make sure it stays open. It didn't actually get closed. I assume what's happening is Anduin and Snowwalker Desko came and were like, Yo, we've screwed up, but we can fix it. Don't close it. So they didn't actually close it. They are just asking again. I guess I could logic that making sense. We are seeking the light. And I gotta go to the history. Maybe this scene will be different too. Um, what was I going to say? But also, it also I was talking about Terran Zoo's scene earlier. I guess that, that that still would make sense as well, considering he stormed off and was pissed. And then he comes in the veil himself and is like, the Horde did this, they need to leave. I suppose that's slightly different than what just happened, so. In my book, everything makes sense. So I'm going to get to the gates, and then I will see you there for the final scene. Let's see if that's changed. Okay, we're back. I have to talk to Desko, and then the scene will complete. Hail. Maybe the gate closed for like a split second. Whatever, I'm trying to rationale two timelines in one. Yulon, clearly the best celestial of them all. as I explained in the finale for the Jade Forest. Children of Pandaria, the mists have fallen. For good or for ill, our land is open to all.
Look at the destroyed veil. So great. No changes, I guess. Let us draw ourselves together. Oh, to wait. rebuild this sacred place. The first step toward healing a war-torn world. These outsiders have brought chaos to this land. Can we trust them to set it right? I have faith in our friends from beyond the mists. Mm. Their strength is an inspiration and sorely needed. We must trust that their hearts are pure. Tyrael Zoon is right. Uh, Yulan and Nizao's statements at the end were new. Where she says, let us draw together to rebuild the sacred veil. And Nizao's is also new. These outsiders have brought chaos to this land. So that's cool. Just a slight small change. Um, that's all I wanted to see. I actually, on the PTR when I copied my warlock, he had completed this so I didn't get to see the scenes. And if I could recall correctly, the pre-made characters also had this quest chain tag just done. Um, so this is actually the first time I got to see it since 5.4. So I wanted to make a short video in case anyone was like me who doesn't, you know, make a lot of alts. Um, I actually just, like I said, this is the first time I've seen it since 5.4 came out. So that was pretty cool. That was all I wanted to see. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time for whatever lore we choose to explore. I'll see you then. Farewell.